driveway cut. However, there's an existing driveway there, and we think through pressings uh, we can get approval uh, to use that. However, if we have to come in through the use a private drive through South Point Square, one of the members of South Point uh, below our holdings <coughs> owns the property right next to uh, excuse me, it's up here, it's parcel one end. And, and with that purchase came the right to access that property via the private road. And looking at this without the ability to use the existing driveways from South Point Boulevard or from the private drive, this site would be landlocked. So we, we will be looking to get approval for one of those access points. And in regard to coming off an arterial collector, it's important to note that CNC self-storage facility uh, is accessed via Calvin Road, which is not classified in the comprehensive plan as either an arterial or a collector street. So there is precedent in the township for not coming off that type of road. As a result of these considerations, it is judged the proposed storage facility will have vehicular approaches to the property, which will be designed so as not to create interference with traffic on surrounding public thoroughfares. And finally, 403.F.9 will not result in the destruction, loss, or damage of a natural scenic or historic feature of significant importance. The, the site is not located within a natural or scenic area, nor are any historic features located on or adjacent to the property. There are no structures on the property at the present time. As a result, it is judged that development of the proposed facility will not result in the destruction, loss, or damage of a natural scenic or historic feature of significant importance. Now, one thing I should say is that, as we had requested from the Planning Commission, and I think as we had discussed in the last month's supervisor committee, uh, we do not know at this time which access we're going to use. And so what we would be requesting of you is a conditional approval of the conditional use request. That condition being that we obtain access via one of those means. It's a sort of like the chicken and the egg. You, you get the access and income for the conditional use, or you get the conditional use and then I, I think it's best to do it this way. If you were to approve our conditional use request with this condition, and we don't get access from either point, then your, your approval becomes moot. Uh, so that's, that's how we're going to ask that you uh, consider when you vote. And I'd be happy to take any questions. Yeah, any questions from the board first? Where do you plan on dumping this water from your storm water? Well, considering that the property slopes from southeast to northwest will be along the northwesterly side of the property. We well, you know that's all proposed for baseball fields? I do not know. Uh, the adjacent parcel is. Uh, has been somewhat graded, uh, is owned, uh, is not owned by our client, is owned, I believe, by uh, Falcones. So, it's owned by, uh, what is it usually, baseball people on it, Angelo Falcone donated that 14 acres for, for baseball field. Well, regardless, we will not be discharging any more water to that site than it is there now from the site. It's, it has to be by reason of uh, post construction small water management requirements. Yeah, will you be required for a retention tank in? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll have to do it. will have to get an MBS permit so it'll be, it'll be a whole enchilada. It'll be a pond or, or an underground tank. Is there any one natural, form of. Is there any natural discharge going to be taken to? Any other questions from the board? 
It, can you please outline the, the two different ways you are seeking access that you've requested this board for the, the condition? Sure. The one is that private. Well, one is the existing, existing driveway. driveway right here. Mm -hmm. And more than likely, it would be limited by PennDOT to a writing right out. So as not to have to put any kind of turning line in, and we're fine with that. The other <clears throat> location is, I don't know if you can uh, scroll that up to the team to upper left. drive that comes into South Point Square. As I mentioned, one of the partners owns parcel 1A, and the purchase of the property came with an express right to use this private road. So we would propose to come in and then up along the power run right away and into our property. Thank you. Any other questions for Greg before we take questions from the public and the board? That should be all. Thank you, sir. And at this time, may we entertain any questions from the public? <coughs> Please start off stating your name and address, please. My name is Dennis Slinchak. Uh, at 47 Rudovich Road and uh, at this present time that property that, uh, that they're planning on putting these uh, storage units on if they build it on, those, uh, on that acreage they're going to landlock two acres that I have that I've uh, got right below the substation. And uh, because that property that uh, they're thinking about building these on at the present time belongs to my brother. And uh, I don't have a problem with them building. But I think they need to come up with a, I don't feel that uh, PennDOT's or the federal, federal highway is going to let them come in off of uh, South Wind Boulevard. Uh, and if they do get, if the feds do get a little concerned about it, being that the township has a salt shed there, I think they can also create a problem for the township for using that. Of course, it could be considered as an emergency. But either way, uh, if they what they need to do is supply a public 50-foot right-of-way and build it to township specs. Uh, so that that could be a public road going back into the power plant, the salt, uh, township salt shed, and the two acres that I plan on developing. If not, then they're landlocking my two acres and potentially the substation also. But I think the substation has pretty much the right to go through there, but. Uh, but like I said, my concern at this point is that they uh, they create a uh, good public access up through here. Bruce, would you slide that over a little bit further to the east to see that more that butts the Sluchek property? It's to the side. There you go. You can almost have to pull it up from Google Earth and not the office. Oh, that's the end of the drawing there. I'm sorry, yeah. you, you can't slide that. Uh, I guess the question is, the boundaries are what they are. How would putting a paved road affect um, landlocking or not landlocking? 
you know, I mean, the boundaries are the boundaries. So if they put a paved road on their property, how does that lock, or if they don't put it, how does that landlock you that's not already established by the property lines? Well, the, the two acres would have access if they, would, if they don't build, if they don't acquire property and don't build, build the sheds, storage sheds, I have access across that existing property. If they acquire the property and build the sheds, then my access goes away. So if they're going to have an access from Organza Road, coming up through there, they need to deem a 50-foot right-of-way through there, so they're not landlocking the property behind that development. And, and build a right-of-way, and build a road to, to the end of their property, where then it could be picked up from where the existing right-of-way is going back into the substation and the salt shed. You know that area pretty well. I do, so, so just so clear. If tomorrow they put those buildings up in the footprint where they're shown in those yellow blocks, that would block you from getting to your property if they stuck them there tomorrow, if they could just appear. Right now, I have access off the South Point Boulevard. If I put any, anything and try to put any uh, extra traffic, just like Yun's got access. Yun's got access. I have the same access as the township has with West Penn Park <coughs> to enter that, that <coughs> property. Back. You're talking about the entrance down where we drive up there? Yes. All right, I'm talking, you said that they build those buildings there and it cut your access. Yes, if, if they build the buildings, then they, they, own, they own the property. They, they're going to put the buildings in. And if they don't put a, uh, a, a dedicate a 50 foot right of way and, and develop a, uh, a road that possibly the township could take over, then. We would never ever take over a road to a private business, whether it's a storage, storage unit or a Redford uh, uh, studio. But if they're developing a piece of property, they're developing a piece of property. They need to have a adequate access to that property. Do they want? Okay, so then they need to have a private. They need to have a 50 foot right of way. I mean, if not, then they're landlocking the two acres I got. Can I respond? You get it. Dan, I don't. I, I I agree with Tom. I don't. I don't see your. I don't see your point. I mean, it, it, it's clear. You know, either you have access or not through that through that driveway. I don't know what their rights are to actually use the, the, the driveway either. They haven't shown us that either. The thing of it is, right now, before they build those units, if. If PennDOT would stop me, and you, and you already, I think you even advised uh, a couple of people that uh, was looking at my property, and you said, well, that's landlocked, it can't, you know, it has a landlocked issue. I would okay. say it has access issues, yes. It has that, well, I, they said landlocked. Well, okay, so whether or not you said that, I don't know, but you even, you even made the comment. But right now, like I said, they, my brother owns that property, that's in the family. The property that they want to put them uh, units. If they build the units and I don't have access up through whatever access they have there back to where West, where West Penn and, and the township is going through now, that's going to landlock. What if, what if they build down through, I, I think, I honestly think that the best plan would be to get every way down through South Point Square if they can get that plan. Exactly. But that doesn't give you access then. You would have to, you have to, would have to get an easement through them. That what I'm saying is that the township can uh, then state that if you're no, no, putting, no, 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 this no. is a conditional use. This is a conditional, conditional. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. So you're, you're saying that the township should impose a condition on the developer to give you access.